by Simone Michelle, back again with another DIY for DIY with Loop, presented to you by Loop Jamaica in partnership with H&L Rapid True Value. Today I'm going to show you how I upcycled an old dresser to this coffee station using some wood, wood glue, nails, and a lot of paint. So this dresser was originally very not modern looking. We had curvy edges, ornate details, and quite frankly I love that, but just not for this project. So I cut those off beforehand. I need to use these pre-made table legs to attach at the base of the dresser. Because this dresser is made mainly of bagasse board, which can disintegrate over time, I'm securing some plywood to the solid wood frame of the dresser for a more sturdy base to screw the legs into. I got them in place with some whole fast wood glue first. Then I went in with my drill and some wood screws. I'm doing pilot holes for all the screws to maintain the integrity of the bagasse board. I repeated those steps on the other side, adding two extra screws for security. Then I gave it a light sand with some 240 grit sandpaper. Here I'm just estimating where I want the table legs to go. Mark the spot and did the same thing for the front and back legs for both sides. In order to secure the table legs, I drilled a hole using a quarter inch bit, which is the same size as the pre-threaded table legs. I put wood glue in the holes and on the top of the legs for an extra tight hold. I screwed them in. Then I repeated those steps for the remaining three legs. And now we have legs, our girl is upright. I previously cut a piece of ply to size for the top of the dresser. Going in with pilot holes and wood screws to secure the ply to the solid wood frame. Not only do pilot holes ensure a tighter fit when using screws, they also prevent cracking and splitting of the wood. Because the dresser had a coat of enamel paint on it before, I gave it a light scuff with some sandpaper to remove the sheen. I wanted to remove this part of the drawer frame had some challenges. Fixed the hot saw, gave it a little bit more elbow grease and some foot grease, but we got it out. And then I gave that piece a light sand. I stocked up on the Easy Care Ultra Premium Paint and Primer from H&L Rapid True Value. This brilliant neon green is apple crisp. When I said these colors were scrumptious, I meant it. Then we have cucumber salad. And finally, countryside. I'm starting off with apple crisp for the inside of the dresser. I wanted to make the coffee station pop without blinding me every day. This is the first coat of paint, but because bagasse board tends to pretty much soak up anything that is liquid, I knew I'd have to go in with a second coat. Once that second layer went on, the richness of the color really began to come through. I made sure to get into every crevice of the inside of the coffee bar. I taped off the table legs and gave it a coat of spray paint with Rust-Oleum's Key Lime, which was a pretty close match to Apple Crisp. I decided to go with Cucumber Salad for the outside of the coffee bar. Even though I'm applying a lighter color over the dark green, the Easy Care Paint and Primer really gave me some good coverage on that first coat. Not to mention these foam rollers. I really don't think I'll paint with any other kind of roller ever again. Look at smooth, look at coverage. I also painted the front of the coffee bar in cucumber salad. Between the Easy Care paint and the foam rollers, I really enjoyed painting this project way more than I imagined. I let the first coat dry and then went in for a second coat all over the exterior. Now it's time to paint the shelves in countryside. I decided to go with the darkest color that I had for the shelves. After painting the shelves, I realized that I wanted the supports to be the same color as well. I went in with my roller first and then I did the corners with my Fleetwood paintbrush. Did a few touch-ups here and there. And now we assemble. Since the coffee station would quite likely have a bit of liquid action going on, I decided I wanted glass for the top to protect the wood and for easy cleanup. 
I stuck on some rubber bumpers in order to raise the glass just a little bit. It's time to style the coffee station. I gave it a quick wipe down with some glass cleaner. I'm also going to be using this coffee station for my 5 gallon water bottle. I'm adding my Keurig, my French press, a mug and some flowers. Using a picture frame to organize my Keurig pods. Brown sugar, coffee ground, tea, matcha. Now everything has its place. I'm adding these two organizers for straws and spoons, another picture frame for my mugs, two more organizers, my second five gallon bottle, this has got to be my favorite upcycle of all time. This burst of color and organization is adding so much more joy to my coffee routine. Join me for the next episode of DIY with Luke. I'll be making a bistro table and stool from scratch.